Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about polymorphism in Java, types of polymorphism and advantages of polymorphism in Java. So let's begin with what is polymorphism. To understand polymorphism, let's take an example of a lady. In real time, we will consider a lady has an object. She acts differently at different stages of her life cycle. Like she will do cooking, shopping, work and she will take care of baby etc. Similarly, in programming, poly means many, morphism means one or more forms. So in Java, the definition of polymorphism is an object showing different behavior at different stages of its life cycle is called as polymorphism. Next, we'll discuss about the types of polymorphism. In polymorphism, we have two types of polymorphism. First one is compile time polymorphism and second one is runtime polymorphism. So what is compile time polymorphism? Here, the method declaration is getting binded to its definition at the compile time based on arguments passed is called as compile time polymorphism. Since the method binding is happening at compile time, it is also called as early binding. Once it is binded, it cannot be rebinded. Hence, it is called as static binding. The example for this compile time polymorphism is method overloading. Let's will write an example for method overloading in Spring Tool Suite for IDE. Here created a package called polymorphism. In this package created class called shop. In this shop class we'll create a method called void laptops. So in this method we'll write print statement. In print statement we'll write string laptop. Next we'll write same method that is void laptops with, with argument in id. In this void laptops with argument int id we'll write print statement that is system.out.println with id. Next, we'll make use of same method that is void laptops. We'll write argument has string name. Again in this method void laptops with parameter string name, we'll write print statement that is system.out.println with name. Next, what we have to do? We have to create object for shop class. So, I'll write here shop shop is equal to name shop. Through shop object, we'll call the methods. Shop dot laptops. Next, shop dot laptops. Here, I'll give one. Next, shop dot laptops. Here, I'll give name Lenovo. We'll run this code now. The output is laptop one Lenovo. How we are getting this? In program, we have developed multiple methods with the same name but variation in argument list. This concept we call it as method overloading. How it is executing? Here shop dot laptops calling to the first method that is void laptops with no arguments. So in output we are getting laptop. Next shop dot laptops of one it is calling to this function with parameter has int id then it is printing one in output. Shop dot laptops Lenovo. This line calling to this function with parameter string name. So it is printing Lenovo in output. Here we have developed multiple methods with the same name but variation in argument list. This concept we call it as method overloading. Whenever we want to perform common operation or task we should go for method overloading. In method overloading, easier relationship is not a mandatory. So, method overloading is an example for compile time polymorphism as we discussed earlier. Next, we'll discuss about the second type of polymorphism is runtime polymorphism. Here, the method declaration will get binded to its definition at the runtime by the JVM based on object created. Is called as runtime polymorphism. Since the binding happens at the runtime, Hence, it is called as late binding. Once the object is binded at the runtime, it can be rebinded. Hence, it is called as dynamic binding. The example for runtime polymorphism is method overriding. So, next we will see an example for method overriding. Go to Spring Tool Suit for IDE and again here I will create a class called laptop shop then click finish. In this laptop shop class, I will create a method called void laptops. So in this method I will write print statement with string shop. Next what I will do? I will create one more class called 
Lenovo, then click finish. In this Lenovo class, I take same name of method which is in laptop shop that is void laptops. Here I will write print statement with string Lenovo. Since I am using here same method name, I have to implement here inheritance concept. So I will write here extends. This Lenovo class should inherit from the laptop shop class. So we have to write public class Lenovo extends laptop shop. Next I will create one more class called Dell and here I will select this public static void main method then click finish. Even in this class also I will use same method name that is void laptops. And again I will write here print statement system.out.println with string I will write here Dell. This Dell class should inherit from the Lenovo class. So I will write here Dell extends Lenovo. Next what we have to do? We have to create object for the Lenovo class and also Dell class. So I will write here Lenovo and Lenovo here I will write L has a small letter is equal to name Lenovo. Then through this Lenovo object I will call laptops method Lenovo.laptops. This Lenovo.laptops will call to the function which is in laptop class. Next we will create object for the Dell class that is Dell Dell is equal to new Dell. Through Dell object we will call laptops function. This Dell.laptops function will call to the function which is in Dell class. Let us run this program now. Here is the output that is Lenovo and Dell. What we did here? Here we have developed method with the same name and signature as in the super class but different implementation in the subclass. This concept we call it as method overriding. Whenever we want to give new implementation then we go for method overriding. In method overriding easy relationship is mandatory. So method overriding is an example for runtime polymorphism. Next we will discuss about the advantages of polymorphism in Java. Reusability of the code. Because of this programmers can save lot of time. To store multiple data single variable can be used. And here easily we can debug the code. Please subscribe to our channel help us to grow. Thanks for watching.